Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a makeup look for you today um, and it is inspired by Zoella or Zoe Sugg, however you may know her. And I was looking back through some old videos and I came across her spring inspired makeup look that she did. So I thought, well, it's spring, the sun is shining, it's beautiful outside, so why not try and recreate her look for you so I've got some new items that I'm really excited to use so I've already moisturized my face and I'm gonna go in with this and this is the Rimmel London hashtag insta fix and go this is the two-in-one primer and setting spray so I'm just gonna pop that all over my face to start with Really get it on there. Mm. Oh, it smells like watermelon. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, let's let that settle for a little while. While I'm waiting for that to settle, we will have a look at the foundation. So this is the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily Skin. And this is in the colour 110 Porcelain. So it might be a little bit light for me. I haven't tried this yet, so... We shall see what happens. I don't know, is it full coverage or? It mattifies and refines pores with blurring micro powders for poreless looking skin. Matches skin tone and texture, natural seamless finish. So it doesn't say if it's a full coverage. I'm sure we will find out. I'm just going to pop that on with my beauty blender. So I'm going to try and do as close as I can to the colours that she's used. Obviously they're all pinks, um, so I'll be using pinks. I don't actually have all the palettes, well I don't have any of the palettes that she used. The only thing that I have is the concealer, which is another thing that I'm going to be trying out for the first time. Okay, so this foundation is pretty nice. It's not full coverage. It's probably buildable, but I think you would have to let it dry. I mean, it hasn't really given me a matte finish. Um, it still looks quite dewy, but we'll let that set a little bit so we can come back and have a look. The next thing I'm going to use is the Collection Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer. This is in Cool Medium 2, so it is a little bit darker than the foundation, so I'm hoping that it's going to look okay. I'm going to pop that under my eyes. Yeah, it's a lot darker than my foundation. Yeah, I definitely should have got a lighter colour, but they didn't have any others. I was gutted. It's really nice though, it's really good coverage. I just have to go over it with my foundation just to lighten it a little bit. It's really nice. Now I'm going to set my face and I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Long Lasting Powder, Pressed Powder, and this is in 001 Transparent. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. Oh, and just quickly to add, it has matted down a little bit the foundation. Um, but I just want to pop this on just to keep it in place. I think I'm going to have to go on the hunt and see if I can find the concealer. Time for bronzer. So I'm using the PS. Bronze Glow Bronzing Powder in Sun Dipped. That's what it looks like. I'm just going to use that to bronze up the face a little bit rather than actual contour. Now 
now time for blusher. I am using my H10 palette and this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna take a combination of these two colours here. Just pop that on the apples of my cheeks. So she did use quite a pink blusher, but just a tiny bit of it, just so it wasn't too much. She's going pink on the eyes too, and we don't want it to be too pink everywhere, and we're going pink on the lips as well. So. For highlight, I am just going to be using a liquid luminizer. Just a tiny bit on my finger. it on the tops of my cheekbones, my nose, and my cupid's bow. For my brows, I'm using the MUA Pro Brow Ultimate Eyebrow Kit in Dark, my Holy Grail, cannot live without it. Now Zoe did use a pencil, I can't remember what pencil it was now, um, but I'm going to use a powder because that's what I always use. I did it in this mirror I think. Brows are done. I haven't done too much. Um, I've just added a little bit of colour because Zoe does have quite natural brows anyway. She just normally fills in the sparse areas. I've already done one of my eyes, otherwise, this video is probably going to take about four hours. So, let's get started with the eyes. I'm taking the W7 in the nude palette and I'm going to take this colour here, which is called a uh, copper pot and I'm going to take a angled brush and pop that all over my eyes so this just goes on the eyelid it's not winged out just all over focusing on the outer corner and then dragging that colour to the inner corner because we're going to put a lighter colour in there I'm going to take this light pink here and I'm going to swap my brush around and just use a um, sponge brush and then this just goes in the inner corner and then blends into the darker one. And then back to the opposite end and back to this palette and I'm going to take Alice which is this one here I'm going to take the smallest smallest amount tap it off and just pop that into the crease and blend it out I'm going to take a brown pencil this is actually a lip liner this is the makeup gallery in what colour is it? brown 3 but I'm going to use this just to pop along the water, uh, the lash line just to give a little bit of definition and a little bit of warmth we don't want it too heavy with the black and then in with the mascara the mascara I'm using is the Big Eyes by Maybelline get my mirror and just pop that all over the lashes great thing about this is it's got a, a thinner one for the lower lashes because otherwise I end up getting it everywhere and I like to use it on the top as well just because I feel like it separates the lashes a bit more I love this mascara I'm going to go back in with this palette and I'm going to take 
this shade here which is called Angel, which is a nice pink but it's got a lot of shimmer in it. I'm just going to pop that on my pinky finger and just pop that on the inner corner and then just drag it slightly onto the eyelid just to give that a little bit of a shimmer. Now onto lips. So again it's pink on the lips so I'm using the Vegan Cosmetics. This is a liquid lipstick in 603 Anea, I believe that's called. Probably can't even see that, it's probably not going to focus. Rubbish camera. Okay, so let's pop this all over the lips. We'll let that dry. This is a gorgeous baby pink liquid lipstick so you love this colour and these are great they're vegan and I'll leave a link down below to the website as well you can get your hands on these because I'm doing so many different colours and they're absolutely amazing now that's dried a little bit I'm going in with the colour experts vibrant lip gloss in planet pink just to give a little bit extra colour so I'm just going to dot that over the lips And rub together. Now, even this is a lip gloss, it's quite thick, so it doesn't give the shine that Zoe normally has. So, I'm going to go back in with my highlighter. And then, on my fingers, I'm just going to push it on just to give that glossy look now I've tried to do my hair not gone right it's gone horribly wrong now we want this to stay all day so I'm going to go back in with my setting spray the primer and setting spray close my eyes probably far too much but hey I want it to stay all day there we go oh it's all in my hair lovely probably make it nice and shiny okay so there is the finished look I hope you've enjoyed this I quite like this look actually it's really really nice really pretty really springy um, with all the pinks girly I like it let me know what you think in the comments down below and this foundation is really nice and the concealer is gorgeous I mean it's covered my dark circles even though it was darker than my foundation it's definitely covered my dark circles so I'm really really happy with that but I'm definitely gonna have to go and see if I can find a lighter shade because cool medium is a little bit dark for me so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Why can I not talk? Do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Click the little bell next to it too so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye!